The second test that I want you to perform at home before you do any type of psoas stretch is this one. So what you're gonna do, stand up nice and tall, take your right leg, you're gonna bring that up as close to your chest as you can, and then let it go. And I want to see if your leg stays there or if it drops down to about a 90 degree angle. If your leg stays up here and you're good, you pass the test and you can start doing some psoas work. If, however, you bring the leg up and it drops down to about 90 degrees, that's when other muscles start to engage and that's why it stops there. But if you can't hold it up here, then you should not be doing any psoas stretching because your psoas or your hip flexor is weak and you're just gonna be making the problem worse. If you found out that your leg drops down to 90 and you can't really hold it up here as high as you really want to, then you need to be doing some psoas strengthening exercises. And there's a whole bunch of them, but a very simple one is standing upright, putting the weight on the opposite leg, and then bringing this knee up to the nipple and dropping it back down in as straight as a line as you can. Try not to have this leg come out to the side because again, you're activating muscles to help you out, but it's not the one that you're trying to focus on. So this is just a nice psoas march. You're just gonna bring that knee straight up Drop it down and try to keep it in front of you and not moving off to the side. Do that until that feels fatigued. Do the same to the other side. And once that strength returns, then you can move on to psoas stretching and mobility work.